I was 13 years old when I joined the fair and I knew from the first day that I'd, it, I'd be here for a while. My name is Cody Ann Martin, I'm 19 years old. The travelling fun park that I work at is Billy Davis's fun park. We pulled on this Saturday, we're going to get set up tomorrow. We've had a long, bit of a long journey, we've come all the way down from Guildford, it probably took us about an hour and a half, about three or four trips of loads. Um, on an open day I come out make sure everything's ready for opening, safe and that for the children and for the adults and that to come along. Some days when we're not open, I like to get some things done, like some jobs and that, like anything that looks a bit rusty, give it a touch up and make sure it looks good. But we're all on, so we'll take a nice slow start in the morning, get up and get it up and steady and ready for opening. Just say you said the way. Growing up as a child, I had a really good upbringing. Um, my family was like, because all that I ever asked for. And I've always been coming up here since young, um, from the age of around six, um, with friends and family for outings and that. And over the years, it's just something I've loved. I just love the atmosphere and love the feeling of being like here and the, like being on the rides and that. As I got round to my teen years, it started going a bit downhill. Like my mum, she got really stressed out and she started going down a bit of a bad path. We had a pretty strong bond. As she was a bit stressed out and that things did start to drop, so we wasn't as close as we used to be. As as it like the year went on, um, my mum did lose the house and my mum and dad split. So that put in a bit of a strain on like, where am I going, am I going to my dad's, am I going to my mum's, and everyone's a bit everywhere. As the fair was coming along at the time, it was sort of my little breakaway. It was free and I felt adventurous and there was friends. And obviously around about the age of 13, there was a few like, like little jobs and that going, like a couple of hours. Everyone got on and we all looked out for each other and when I went back to my mum's it was like it, where everything was going on it was just too much. My boss Billy, he's more like my dad, he um, offered for me to come away with him and he like basically gave me a home to live in and he looked after me. At the time he was with his wife Shawnee and they, had, they couldn't have children. And when I was young, they sort of took me in under their wing, like I was their own. It's made me feel like really happy and that, and I'm glad that he, like, he's done that. And over the years, our, our bond just got stronger and stronger. And he's just always, you know, he's been there when I need him. He makes sure I've always got, and he makes sure that I'm happy. He's, he has been amazing. and. Obviously his mum and dad, Lynn Marie and Uncle Bill, they have always looked after me. His sister Brittany, she, she's a diamond, but she makes sure I've got as well. I've got a strong bond with my other family, semi-love and that, but I've always, you know, I'm, I'm happy here and I'm just getting on with my own thing. The best part is about meeting like friends and loads of people and they don't only become friends, but they're like, they're like a strong family and we all stick together and we all work together and we help each other. And that's what I love. It's been about six years and I'd say the first year I sort of just went and just sort of got on with it, didn't keep in contact with much people. But as the time went, like my mum, my, my bond started getting stronger and obviously she had her own little place where she was more settled and she was a bit like unstressed so we could start building like ourselves back up again. My dad used to come pick me up quite frequently and like take me to hers or take me to see him or like take me to see other family that I wanted to see. But to be honest, I was more happy and just get on getting on with what I'm doing here. Like, I love my family dearly, but I just wanted to do the best for me. It's just a pity like what happened. They're like obviously want to see me doing the best and they're happy that I'm happy here and getting on. It's made me the person I am today. If only I could find a way to make what's left to be made. If only they could jealousy.
It's true.